In this video I'm testing out and comparing the audio of the Kydera DP550S with the help of my friend Jake. The DP550S is a Chinese made DPMR radio so it doesn't use the standard DPMR vocoder but I find it interesting to see what different vocoders sound like. I actually bought these radios because the programming software showed that you could choose from three different vocoders but I was quite disappointed when I got the radio and found that I couldn't hear any difference at all. I contacted Kydera and they told me that that setting doesn't actually change the vocoder and the radios only come with one of the vocoders. I'm not 100% sure but I think these particular ones have the Ambi Plus 2C vocoder in them. Although this vocoder is named very similarly to Ambi Plus 2, the vocoder used in DMR NXDN and P25 Phase 2. It's not actually the same vocoder. Have a look at my blog post on the different DPMR vocoders if you're interested in this topic. It's linked to in the description. First I'll show you the video taken during testing and then I'll show you what DPMR looks like on an SDR and sounds like in FM mode. Yeah, if you could just uh, come back to me quickly on here and then uh, we'll switch over to DPMR, yeah? Yeah, uh, M6LSC returning with uh, 2E0KZ8. Yeah, good evening there, Ben. Uh, just using the Anytone 868 uh, with an external Kenwood microphone and uh, the uh, Diamond SRJ77CA antenna. Yeah, M6LSC from 2E0KZ8. I'm copying you really, really nicely. Very good audio. Um, let's go over to the DPMR radios, the Kydera DP550S, and uh, see how that sounds. Would you mind uh, giving me a call on that one? Yeah, 2E0KZ8 from M6LSC. Yeah, no problem. Um... I'll be talking to you momentarily. 7-3. Yeah, good evening to you, Ben. Uh, this is Jake, uh, M6OSC. Uh, now on the Kytera. Um, how do I sound there, Ben? Yeah, M6LSC from 2E0KZA. Uh, you sound pretty good. Not quite as good as the DMR, in my opinion but uh, not bad either, um, and very readable. So this is a, a 5 watt radio, I think, 4 or 5 watts, and uh, I'm using high power, and I think you're using high power as well, aren't you? At the present moment, Ben, um, I'm using uh, low power. Um, I'm on low power mode uh, with an external Kenwood SMA34 uh, microphone. And uh, the stock antenna that comes uh, with the radio. I don't think it sounds as uh, as good as uh, the uh, any tone, but yeah, it still sounds alright. And you are readable as well, there, Ben. Back to you. Yeah, two e zero KZA returning. Um, yeah, no, it definitely doesn't sound as good as the DMR to me either, but. Um, it's perfectly usable, um, but it's interesting anyway to see what the different modes sound like. Let's try um, FM actually. I'm pretty sure these radios can do FM. Yeah, I think copy you there, Ben. Um, but it's not very clear. Can you copy me over? Just trying to focus the camera there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm copying you as well, but... Um, it is a bit noisy, isn't it? Much noisier than, uh, well, I mean, obviously uh, digital doesn't get noise, but you know what I mean, uh, surprisingly noisy. Yeah, if I'm correct in saying uh, digital radio waves, they will travel further than analog ones, is that correct? So now I'll show you the SDR tuned into the same frequency. Notice that the bandwidth is set to 6.25 kHz, and you can see clearly that these radios do operate within that bandwidth. KZA testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Unfortunately, you can also see that they seem to not really exceed 6.25 kHz in FM mode, which is supposed to be 12.5 kHz. That shows that these radios also suffer from terribly low audio in FM, like a lot of cheap Chinese radios do. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting, and thanks again to Jake, M6LSC, for helping me to make it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and please click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video.